Hi this is Stanley from the creative hand. Let's see what we are going to create today. So if you want to follow along you can download the assets from the link in the description. Ok let's get started. Drag the footage to the composition icon. This is the real footage. It looks very shaky isn't it? Let's fix it by using warp stabilizer, and click the advanced drop menu and check the detailed analysis. Wait for the analyzing and stabilizing. Ok it's done, let's play it. It looks great compared to the original video. Now we need to track the camera movements, to place the text in the footage. Pre-comp the footage and move all attributes and click OK. Now select layer and use the camera tracker. Click the advanced drop menu and check the detailed analysis. Once it's done you will be able to see the track points all over the footage. Now you have to decide where you want to place the text. I want to place the text behind this mountain. We have a point there so we just select the point, and click the left mouse button and create null and camera. It will create the null in the exact 3D space, and a camera too. Now create a text. This could be your logo or a photo or anything that you want to keep behind the mountain. Press Ctrl Alt Home, to move the anchor point to the center of the text, make it bigger. I want to keep the anchor point at the bottom of the layer. Change the text layer to the 3D layer by clicking the 3D icon. Now copy the position of the track null, and paste it on the text layer. Scale it down by holding the shift key, align and place the text layer. Now you should move the layer by only using the XYZ axis. You should not move the layer by simply clicking on it, because you don't want to change the Z position. To keep the layer behind the mountain, you could just mask out that part. But what if you want to move the text again? Then you have to redo the mask each time you move the layer. So we will create mats to keep the text behind the mountains. So create a new layer and name it. And make it a 3D layer, and copy the position of the text and paste it on the matte layer. And scale down a bit. Also copy and paste the rotation attributes. Now reduce the opacity. Just to the level that you can see the mountains. And solo the footage and the matte layer. Now select the matte layer and draw a mask around the mountain. Now increase the opacity. You can see the matte layer is sticking to the footage. Now solo the text layer and select the alpha inverted matte. If you don't see this option just click the toggle switch. So it's done. If you want to change the position you can change no problem. Now feather around the matte layer, 2 or 3 would do just fine. I don't want to keep the full text behind the mountain should be clear to read, reposition it until you satisfy. I need a mountain here, so that the letter V E can go behind the mountain and it will create a good look. So I just downloaded an image from the Google, we will use it to cover the end part of the text. Drag it into the composition and rename it. We don't need the white background. We can use the color range plugin to key out the sky. And play with the values, just enough to get rid of the sky. Once it's done turn it to a 3D layer. Unsolo all the layer. 
Now we need to create new track null to place our mountain. So select the footage and create the null. Now copy the position of the new track null and paste it to the mountain. Now just position the mountain in the right place. And just pull the mountain in the Z axis. So now the mountain is in front. Now draw a mask around the mountain and feather it out. But don't use too much feather. Ok now let's match the color to look real. I will use the gradient on the layer, and increase the blend values to 50%. Now place the star tramp point at the front part of the mountain, and end ramp point at the end part of the mountain. Select the start color and pick the color near the front part of mountain and do the same for the end color too. Already you can see the color is matched pretty good. If you are not satisfied you can play around with the color. This is impressive right? Also use some blur on the mountain to match the real footage. It looks great. You can cut the in and out. Let's move to the second text. Now you should be able to do it by yourself. So I just speed up the video. Working on the 3D space, you might want to keep the anchor point always at the bottom of the layer, so when you scale up the layer, the bottom position won't change. Once you place the text in the 3D space, create a new mountain mat for this text. Once you are created the mat layer, select the alpha inverted mat. Boom. Text went behind the mountain. Also I need a mountain to block the letter H and A. So let's do the same process. Create the null and duplicate the mountain. And paste the position of the null layer. Use the gradient to match the color. So placing the text in the 30 space is done. Now let's add some shadows to the texts. Select the text and matte layer, and duplicate it. Select the text and use drop shadow. And increase the opacity, increase the softness and also check the shadow only. Now the shadow layer is in the front, so push the shadow layer in the Z axis. I need the shadow, only at the bottom of the text. Draw a mask on the shadow layer. Don't forget to rename it, you could get confused. After that play around with the shadow. to the next text layer. Do the same process.
Now the shadow part is done too. Let's move to the fog. I'm going to use this smoke to create the fog. Let's do it. Drag the smoke layer into the composition. And turn it into the 3D layer. And place it and scale it. And move the smoke layer and Z axis and bring it to the front. You can't let it play, because that would look fake. So freeze the frame. And scale it, and place it above the text layers. To give the fog movement, use the position keyframes. It looks awesome. Let's create a one more layer and use optical flares. Change the render mode to transparent. And use any preset for the flare. And change the source type to 3D. You can place the flare wherever you want, and play with settings. Once you are done, create an adjustment layer and use the looks plugin to create an instant color correction. You can use any preset. But I'm gonna use this one. Let's see. Okay, not bad. I like it. But you can spend more time in color correction and optical flare. Now select all layers by clicking Ctrl A, and pre-comp it. And cut the in out, by clicking out open bracket or close bracket. Use the scope to get the standard look. Looks nice. The whole video is kinda rotating, so use the rotation keyframes to fix it. Align the text in the straight line, also scale a bit. Yeah that's it. Looks awesome. So if you need any changes in the flares you can always go back and change it. But I'm gonna keep it as it is. So I think the text is merging with sky. You can use a gradient on the layer. is it guys hope you guys learned something from this video if so like and share the video also subscribe to my channel thank you guys